What has inspired you to success? I, um, early on in life, I'm going to go back to when I was a teenager. So to start with, I made a choice to complete year 12 and to become a teacher. I chose to become a teacher not for the uh, what normally people would go for to be a teacher, you know, that you want to inspire children, you want them to learn, you want them to grow. Um, I actually wanted to be a teacher and go to university to prove to my dad that I was worthy of his love. So to do that, I had to show him how proud he could be of me, to, to see that I am successful, that I, I am smart, and that I'm really capable, that I'm just not a girl. I'm more than just a girl, I'm more than just his daughter. I wanted him to show, to see my worthiness, and I thought that that was what I needed to do to show him who I was. And I became a successful teacher. I am a successful teacher. I have learned though along the way that there is more to success than obtaining that certificate from being able to get distinctions through university and it's the journey that I've been on and to find out that success for me is being a wonderful mother, being a beautiful mother to my two children and to help them be the best version of themselves. They have taught me to overcome so many obstacles and to find who I truly am, to find what success actually meant for me. So success for me is different to someone who may be sitting next to me. It will be different to whoever is listening right now to my message. Success is how it makes you feel. So I know that I set personal goals for myself. And with those personal goals, I am very persistent. I am determined. I keep putting one step in front of the other, no matter how many times I fall. And oh my gosh, I have fallen so many times, it's not funny. And so I know that within my heart, if there's something that I want strong enough, I have to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And I do, I don't give up easily. So for me, success is not giving up. It's persisting and, and staying on that, on that path. Sometimes our paths will become diverted. So you might think you're going in this direction, but something will throw you off course. And working out whether that way is where you're supposed to be going or whether you need to keep going this way. So I know for me, when I did actually want to become a teacher early on, I actually didn't get the marks with university. And that was actually quite devastating to begin with because I couldn't go to university when I thought, you know, as soon as I'd finished HSC. So I then decided to find out, well, what else can I do? I, I'm not someone who gives up. How else can I get into the teaching profession? What else can I do? So I actually went into childcare and I did childcare for two years. And childcare um, through the TAFE system is very different to university in the fact that it's very practical. For me, practicality was great. I did really well with childcare, but I knew in my heart that I wanted to become a teacher. So I applied again at one university and I still didn't get accepted because there was someone who was higher than me with their mark. And so they actually chose that person over me. And so I went, okay, so now I have to go out into the workforce and use this, what I have actually obtained. So I went out into the workforce, loved being in childcare and I still wanted to be a teacher. I didn't feel like I had achieved what I had set out to be. So I did apply again, but this time I did it externally and I was accepted. So I sat through something like eight to nine years working full time and becoming a teacher that way. Working part time, uh, doing my certificate, my degree part time, uh, going down for um, in, uh, what do you call them, lectures throughout my holidays and then got married, had children and it wasn't until I had my second child that I actually completed my teaching, my fourth teaching degree. I'd already had the third, my three year one and then I, I finished my fourth year one. 
Um, started my family, so I went out and I started teaching part time, and I was finding it a rewarding system. I really loved being a teacher. It became more to me than what it had originally started out to be. On my journey, um, I ended up getting cancer, and I was facing the barrel of a gun when I actually got cancer. So I didn't know whether with cancer, whether it had actually, because um, it was following my hair follicle and I didn't know if it was starting to break off into my bloodstream. And my children were only young when I actually got cancer. And I had to hold faith that I would be okay. That, because they needed their mum. They were only young. They needed their mum. And once I had the clear, once I had the okay, from my surgeon that I was clear from cancer, from skin cancer, I made the decision that from that day forth that I had a second chance at life and I was going to make it the most, the best life I could for myself and for my children. And I live each day basically as a success story. I make sure that I wake up each day and I set intentions for my day and those intentions will be how I will go to work, how I can be the best teacher, when I'm tutoring my students, what is it my students need, what can I deliver to help them then become successful for themselves, to achieve their goals, to achieve their big dreams. And on that topic, dream big, guys, dream big because being able to achieve your dreams, being able to follow who you truly are and what you want in life, your passions, that is success and that is what's going to light up your life. So that's what I do each and every day. So for me to get through a day where I have inspired someone else, where I have been able to coach someone else with their own journey, with being able to overcome the ups and downs and the obstacles, to be able to raise their self-esteem and confidence, to be the most influential coach that I can be for the tweens and teens, for mothers, for parents, that is success to me. Because I know as a mother from my heart how successful my journey has been. It's the best journey I've ever been on being a mother. So I want you to dream big and I want you to keep reaching for your goals.